In this video, I'll show you how to create a price list on your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'll show you how to create a pricing list on your WooCommerce store, similar to this one here. So we can separate it based on a particular category. We can also allow your customers to export your pricing list via CSV or via PDF format as well. And um, I should note that the columns are fully customizable, so you can add a custom data within these columns, okay? And you can even add sorting options as well. So you can add um, filters here, such as the category filter, the attribute filter, or any custom taxonomy filter that you wanna add, just to make it easier for your customers to find exactly what they're looking for, okay? And this particular video is based on this article here. So if you wanna follow along to the article version, you can do. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we can create different type of pricing list similar to this one here, or we can create a more technical pricing list as well, where we're listing all our products here. Okay, and then we can show custom columns for the different metadata relating to that particular product. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the product table plugin by aovup. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the AOV up product table plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugin, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. In the future, it might say AOV up. Just go ahead and click activate to activate your license key. Once you've done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section. Okay, and then from here, we just need to scroll down and then just enable the product table plugin, okay? Throughout this video, I'm assuming you've already got a few products added to your WooCommerce store already. If not, then I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how you can do so, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and click manage to create our pricing list, okay? Okay, so the first step is to go ahead and create a new product table. So we'll just click create new table here. Okay, and then we'll just give this a name, it's just for internal purposes. Okay, and now we'll click on order form information. So now we're building out the columns for our pricing list, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna add is maybe the SKU code, okay? And then I'll add the product name. I'll add the categories that the product belongs to. I'll also add maybe the attribute if it's a variable product. So I'm gonna select custom data. And then for the data source, I'm gonna go ahead and select custom taxonomy. And then here I'm just gonna select the particular attribute that I wanna add onto this product table, okay? So for example, we can add the product um, color because this is an attribute we've got on this particular product table. So I'm just gonna update this and then just exit off, okay? Um, I'm also gonna add the product price Okay, so we just drag and drop it here. If you want um, customers to be able to purchase directly from your pricing list, then you can go ahead and add the add to cart button, okay? But I'm gonna leave this off for now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and rename a few of our columns. So for example, where it says name, I'm gonna rename this to say product, okay? For the product name. And then we'll just click update. And then we can X this off actually. Let's go ahead and add an image. So we can just drag and drop this image onto our canvas. And then I'm just gonna show it um, here. That looks fine. Image size, I'm just gonna leave it as default. A lot of these options, I'm just gonna skip over them. So now we'll just click on bulk add to cart. For the variation settings, we can either link customers over to the product page, or we can show it in a drop down list, or we can show the variation and its own individual row, okay? I think for this particular example, I'm just gonna display the variation as its own unique product, okay? So now we'll navigate to order form control. Um, product filters, I'm gonna set this to be based on the columns on our product table. If you want, you can add um, custom filters as well. I'll leave a link in the description below to an article um, showing you more about how to add different product filters. So a lot of these I'm just gonna leave as default. Um, I'm gonna allow our customers to download our pricing list in a CSV format and also as a PDF, okay? I'm gonna enable these two options here. For the form design, I'm just gonna leave it as default. If you wanted, you can go ahead and customize the design. 
Um, you can also add custom CSS as well. But again, I'll just leave everything as default for now. And then I'm just going to hit save changes. And then let's head back over to the general settings area. Okay. So essentially we've created our price list and this will show a list of all the different products on our WooCommerce store. If you only wanted to show um, products from a particular category, then in a second, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So it's pretty simple. So I'm going to copy this short code here of this particular product table, which I've created. And then I'm just going to create a new page. So just add new and then page. And then I'm going to name this price list. And then we'll just paste in our short code here. Okay. And then we'll hit publish. Okay. And now we can view our price list. Okay. Okay. And here we can see our product price and list. Okay. So we can export the products into a CSV format, which is just done here. And we can also download it into a PDF format as well. But the beauty of this is you can allow customers as well to quickly search for a particular product. For example, if I wanted this particular product here, you can see it's appearing instantly. Okay. So it's just a more effective way to organize your product catalog. Okay. So let's say you wanted to segment your catalogs into categories. Yes, customers can filter it here, but maybe you just want to display it in a different format, right? Then I'll show you how you can do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and head back over to our dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and edit this particular product table here. And I'm going to filter it by a specific category. So let's have a quick look. Okay. So to filter it by a specific category, we just need to go to order form control here. And then here where it says product condition, we can just click add a rule and then we can say product categories and then we can say in, and then we can select the value here. Okay. So this means this particular product table will only show products within this action and reflex games category. Okay. And I just want to do one more thing. So I want to edit our product table slightly. So I'm going to remove this custom color option. I'm also going to remove the category as well, since it doesn't make sense in this particular case. And I'm going to actually remove um, the filtering option as well. So let's head back over to order form control. Okay. And then here where it says product filters, I'm just going to select disable for the table length as well. I'm going to set this to hidden the search box. I'm also going to set this to hidden um, product total. So again, this is optional um, you'll just configure it um, according to your needs. Right. But I'm just going to set a lot of these to hidden and it will make sense in a second. Okay. So let's save changes. Okay. So that's saved fine. So let's have a quick look at our pricing list. Okay. Okay, so this is our pricing list. So it looks much better. It looks a lot cleaner as well. So I'm going to add, as I said, we're going to segment this um, based on the categories. Okay, so we're going to create a new product table for each category. Okay, so let's head back over to our product table and then we'll navigate over to the general settings. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this particular product table, which we've created. So it saves a lot of time. So if you've created custom styling or custom filters and so on, so it just speeds up your workflow in the fact that you can just duplicate the product table. And then all we'll have to do is we just need to go in and change the particular category. Okay. So this one's for action and game. So all this one, and then we'll just edit this duplicated product table here, and then we'll just set it to a different category. So we'll go to order form control. And then here we'll just remove this category and then we'll say um, all action figures. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit save changes. Okay. Then we'll go back to the general settings. And then now I'm just going to copy this short code here. And it would also make sense as well to change the name, just so you know um, what this particular product table is for. Okay. So let's head back over to our price list page. Okay. And I'm going to add a title. So let's say heading, I'm going to say all action figures. Okay. And then space. And then now we'll paste in our product table. Okay. So let's duplicate this heading here. Let's drag and drop it right here. And then for the heading, we'll just change it to say, I think it was action and games, right? Okay. And now we'll just hit update. Now let's go ahead and view this particular price list. Okay. And then here we've got our price list here. Okay. So we've got um, all action figures. We can sort it by pricing, by product name. 
and this looks really good so i'm happy with this the only thing i'll change is maybe we'll show the image product name and then the SKU code okay so let's just quickly um, modify that now so let's head back over to the product table settings okay then we'll just edit this particular product table here so we'll go to order form information and then we'll just drag and drop it right here let's save changes and then we'll do the same for our second product table okay but let's navigate back over to the general settings let's go ahead and edit this one okay and now let's view our pricing list again let's refresh this page okay and that looks loads better okay so this is a quick and effective way to create a price list and manage it effectively as well so let's say for example you added a new product to your catalog within the all action figures um, category so instead of coming to this page and editing it anytime you add a new product to WooCommerce and you tag it with this particular category then this pricing list will automatically update okay so it just makes managing your product catalog a lot more efficient and effective okay and that's a quick and simple way to create a price list on your WooCommerce store as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible